Hello, hello, my name is Chaotic Perfection. Some of you may have also seen the name Kaniac Perfection. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, doing my best as an up-and-coming arena specialist. Some things I've done, most recently been placing highly in online tournaments, making a lot of what most people would call upsets against well-known top players. I'm also currently one of the top 10 ranked arenas on the global leaderboard. Now before we get started, I ask that you please be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. Satito. Let's get into it. Arena is a very versatile character. She has a blend of Mishima tools like Ford 4, Electric, Down Ford 1-2, etc. Mixed with Waifu tools. So you can play her however you want to be honest. Punishment is good. An evasive stance with back 3 down 3. Goaded rushdown tools like Ford 4 2 which can also act as an easy whiff punish tool. It helps, but you don't need execution to play her mostly thanks to a really good down forward 2. Now let's talk frame punishes and then talk about what to do with those frames afterwards. So here's what we have for standing punishment. I-10, hit convertible, 1-1-2, into Sentai. You're plus 11, so you get really good pressure here. Especially if you're at the wall, if you know the wall's behind them. You are plus 23, which means that you get a free Sentai 4. If they block it, that's chip damage and plus 4 to keep continuing your offense. I-12, hit convertible, 2-2-1, gives knockdown at the wall. We get a wall splat. I-13, we have two different punishes, a classic down forward 1-2, this is a heat engager as well as a wall splat. Then we have forward 2-3 forward, which is a good punish when you want to punish something at range, and you get Sentai pressure at plus 9. This move without holding forward is also safe at minus 9 on block, so you can even just throw it out in the neutral as a good safe poke string. I-14 with 2 slide 1, if you can pull it off, you've got damage with a guaranteed CD3, and it gives you good okay. At I-15, we have down forward 2. This right here is why we don't need execution. I-15, launching down forward 2 for Mishima is insane. And the range is crazy, so it can be used as a whiff punish as well. Now for crouching punishment, we have I-11 while standing 4-4 four, four down. Gives us plus 6 in the Heaven's Wrath. I-13, we have while standing 1. Automatic Sentai transition on hit lets you hit confirm really easily a Sentai 3. I-15 full crouch down forward 4. That will give you a full launcher. I-20 full crouch down forward 3 if you want just a little bit more damage and better wall carry. And while this one is launch on block, it does have good high crushing. So if you want to play slimy, you can just throw this out sometimes and it will work. Now, for other moves that you should be using, forward forward 2 forward is always the first thing to come to mind. The range, it's hit convertible with the Sentai 3 follow-up. If they block it, it's plus 2 on block. It's only real weakness being that it can be sidestepped. And even then, you could just do a wave dash or a crouch dash to realign yourself. Back 2 is good for people that are sidestepping you. Quick I-16 homing mid with really good range. Minus 9 on block, plus 3 on hit. Heaven's Wrath and Sentai take a little bit of effort and risk sometimes to get into, but luckily we also have Ansoku. So we can do back 3, wait for a whiff, and Ansoku 4. And if they block it, we're still safe. Or we can even bait a whiff out by holding down back after Ansoku 4. Cancel it. Just bait something out. 3 plus 4 has really good range and is safe, low crushes. You can twitch, twitch confirm, see if they press, then do 3 plus 4, 4, finishing the string for another Sentai 4 follow up. Back 4, put a new linear, but it's safe, crushes highs. You get a stomp on hit and a combo on counter hit as well. We have forward neutral 3, while this is also linear, this is only minus 6 on block and. Once again, another counter hit launcher. If you keep getting interrupted by jabs or highs because you're like me and your electrics are slow, we have one plus four to high crush, and we can do anything from crouch dash here. So we can do one plus four down for two with the right timing. We get access to a high crushing electric, and of course you have access to hell sweep um, from the stance. Access to CD3, just anything from Crouch Dash. You want to cancel it, down forward, back. You have down forward 1, and this has extensions as well, like we talked about, down forward 1, 2. 
what you, but we also have down forward 1-1. One, one. This is a mid high on block. This is minus four, as you can see, plus seven on hit. And not just that, but she can also go into Sentai after down forward one by holding forward. And on block, this would only be minus three. Pair it all together, and you've got a mind game here. We talked about the classic Mishima tool forward four. This would be plus two on block, forces crouching. In game, if it lands, you usually get a down forward one, two as a follow up on hit. For running moves, we have while running three for a mid. And this, you get back two. Or if you want to go for 4-4-2 four, four, for follow-up on hit, though wall rank 3 can be a bit linear, it is plus 6 on block, and if you notice they are stepping it a lot, we can start using wall running 4, which is a high homing move. This is plus 4 on block, but if we go into Heaven's Wrath by holding down, it'll actually make it plus 8 on block. We have Electric War God Kick, forward neutral down, down forward 3. Same input as electric, but replace 2 with 3. Without electric, if it's blocked, you are minus 13. But with electric, you are actually just minus 9. And this also counter hit launches. We don't have many great lows. We do have hell sweep. And once again, instead of knockdown, we get stance pressure. So we do forward neutral down, down forward forward down. And we're plus 6, so that's nice. Down back 4 is also really nice to have. Minus two on hit, but we have one plus two as a counter hit confirmable follow up. And if we pull it off at the wall, we get a wall spot. We have sidestep four, zero on hit, but once again, plus 13 on counter hit. Down back two, minus 16 on block and minus three on hit. But if you want an easy round ender, I'd recommend this. Next question, offense. How do you do it? Most of the time your best pressure comes from stance, so let's talk about options from Heaven's Wrath stance and Sentai stance. Starting with Sentai, assuming we have frame advantage already, if you want to keep it safe, we can do Sentai 2, basic, safe mid. If you know they won't challenge you and you want plus frames, Sentai 4, plus frames. If they are challenging you, but with something slow, you can do Sentai 3, try to catch an interrupt, and if they end up pressing, you get a heat engager. Or if they keep interrupting you, you can also try to hit confirm Sentai 1, 2, so we have a power crush from the stance. If they press, you hit confirm that. If they're not ducking, we have Sentai, and then you would just do a generic throw input, so 2 plus 4, or 1 plus 3. And that will give you an Oki situation, and give you Oki pressure. If you want to keep away from the Oki, but continue pressure, you can do Sentai 3 plus 4. A little bit of a risk if it does get blocked. But if it lands, you get to continue pressure. This also high crushes jabs, which is how many people will try to interrupt you. Now for Heaven's Wrath, assuming once again that we have frames. So let's say we did something like to get plus frames, we did wall ring 4 down. We do 3 plus 4 if you want to keep it safe. If you think they're going to press, you could do 1 4. Or you could do 1 4 3. You can hit confirm, actually. The Sentai transition into Sentai 3, you can hit confirm that. If you know they're not going to do anything, you can do 3 4 for plus frames. Optional stance transition. You can hold down, go into stance. Or another thing you can do, if you know that they're not going to press anything, or duck, or even if they're trying to go for a power crush, we have another unbreakable throw, same input, just a generic throw. Bonus damage at the wall, as you can see there. And we can also even do Heaven's Wrath into Sentai. And now you have access to anything from Sentai. We also have Heaven's Wrath 2. Only way to deal with this is if they sidestep right, and bonus points if you're in heat, because in heat, we actually get a full heat dash combo. Now one last fun fact about Heaven's Wrath, when you're in heat, you can parry anything that's a punch or a kick. So if you do anything at all that transitions into stance, and you just stand there, they, they try swinging, you do, they do a punch or a kick, then this will happen.
Now, any way that you can get into stance does really help a lot as long as you're not super minus. Forward forward two is the easiest transition into Sentai, but you can also just do Sentai from neutral or even add it after a crouch dash to close the distance. On the opposite end, defense. We are lacking in quick get off me panic counter hit tools, but other stuff makes up for it. While Reina's back dash is pretty good, we mentioned Ansoku earlier, back three, up three, or down three are all ways to get into the stance. You can chain these all together and get this really evasive back dash, no execution required. And once again, you don't want to be in stance, down forward back. The stance makes defending so much easier. And with confirming, Ansoka 4 is also really easy and low risk, amazing range, and it's safe, and it's a heat engager, and if we're in heat, we hold forward, we get a full heat dash combo. And we're still not done. Up 3 is also a punch parry that can guarantee you 1-1-2 one, one, if you're able to crouch cancel. Take some practice, but very useful. We have one of those universal parries that parries almost anything, and it goes into Heaven's Wrath, and depending on the move, we can punish differently, but typically your go-to should be Heaven's Wrath 1-4 if you want to see if what you just parried is punishable, and I am talking about back 2 plus 4, or you can also use back 1 plus 3. So that's what it looks like. As you can see, not a punish there, but a punish there. Remember our Heaven's Wrath Heat Parry? You can actually tie them together against certain strings. So take for instance, double parrying Reina's 1, 2, 3, 4. So manual parry on the knee, and then automatic parry on the last hit there. Reina does have very versatile combos, but for now, let's just take a look at her fairly easy and consistent BNB ones. You can also fit in a jab then heat burst in after almost any tornado, so for example our Sentai 2 tornado, and then if you want to optimize the damage, up 3, 4, forward, into down 4, 1, so it would look something like this. For all combos, she also has a lot of variety, so it's really personal preference here, but these are some of my personal go-tos first with Tornado. And now this is without Tornado, so just pay attention to what comes after up forward 4. If you're in Rage, you want to Rage Art combo, and your combo after Tornado with Jab Rage Art, so it looks something like this.
So to recap, Reyna is a very versatile character that can fit any playstyle. Her strengths lie within her evasive moveset and stances like Ansoku and Fukutek if you want to flex on people. Strong rushdown pressure from her Sentai stance 442 as well as her Heaven's Wrath, but she does have to take some risk if she wants to really keep her pressure going. Other main weaknesses include not many real amazing panic tools, how linear she can be, though like we said we do have ways to realign herself, and we have good homing moves to check our opponent from stepping as much, and not the best set of lows but the rest of her moveset makes up for it. All of this, I believe, puts Reyna in just the perfect spot. Clear weaknesses, clear strengths, accessible and viable at any level of play. With all of that being said, appreciate y'all for stopping by. I know she can be a very complex character, so I hope I was able to shed some light today. There's also a text version of everything I talked about in this video if you go to the link in the description. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. Thank you so much to Dash Fight for having me on here. And thank y'all so much for watching. God bless. See you next time. Bye.